Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another charging site review. I'm here at the Walmart in Willows, California, charging at the new Electrify America charging site that went in. So this site features four ABB chargers. There are two 350 kilowatt chargers and two 150 kilowatt chargers with a 50 kilowatt Chatamo head. Now the Chatamo unit is mislabeled and says 350 kilowatts on it but the CCS on it is actually only 150 kilowatt if you look at the placard. Uh, this is just off of Interstate 5, about 80, 90 uh, miles north of Sacramento. I just reviewed a site from EVGO across the freeway. Uh, so this is a really good site. It's a really good location. Again, you're just literally a block off of the interstate. So in terms of travel, these chargers are going to be really easy to get to. Uh, you know, this one is at a wall. Walmart. So depending on your travel needs, if you happen to be going through Willows, California and need to stop for a charge, you can either ch stop for a meal or you could stop to do some shopping or whatever your needs happen to be. And in the case of these Electrify America chargers, they're definitely faster. Uh, but, you know, I think uh, I think each site has its own merits and its own value. So uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really impressed with this. This is gonna give a lot of redundancy to travel through Northern California, and it's gonna support a lot of local drivers who maybe couldn't have transitioned to electric on their own uh, because of the distances that you have to drive and the weather and things like that. Having these charging locations is really going to bolster electric vehicle adoption in these regions. Uh, but you know, without further ado, let's just jump right into the site score. So in terms of access for this Electrify America site, I'm only going to score it a nine out of 10. Uh, and the reason for that is simply full pull through parking. Uh, but even still this section uh, they had to put it in an area of the store where you normally would have the pickup location so the pickup location is just a little bit uh, down from here and because of that there aren't any vehicles with trailers allowed in this section anyway so even if they did provide full pull through parking uh, you wouldn't be able to pull in with a trailer uh, you'd have to detach and put it you know elsewhere in the parking lot and then come in and park here uh, so that that does not ding it a little bit in terms of access just because uh, you know if, if you're towing a trailer this is just not a site that you would prefer uh, and so that's why it's getting a 9 out of 10 for access for amenities, I'm actually only going to give this a 7 out of 10. This Walmart doesn't really have a restaurant location like a lot of the other Walmarts will have. Uh, you, you can go in and get food. They, they have the regular grocery stuff. Uh, but if you wanted to go in and grab a meal that's prepared, it's not really designed like some of the other Walmarts are. You could walk across the street to a diner. There isn't really any of the types of uh, services you'd expect at like a gra gas station or a travel stop. Uh, and then of course in terms of amenities, this doesn't have a covering. Now again, whether it's solar or not is sort of irrelevant. This is somewhat blocked because of the building and because of nearby trees so there's decent shading but that doesn't really help you uh, from the other elements and I know that they can put a covering here because you look down and the pickup and drop off location actually has uh, a canopy over the parking spaces. So yeah, those sorts of things sort of ding this in terms of amenities, no level two charging uh, for people who are gonna be here longer or who have vehicles that can't use CCS or Chatamo. Uh, so for that, again, it's only getting a seven out of 10 for amenities. For site concentration, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. There are four chargers here uh, that's slightly above the three charger average that I would say for a travel location. I'd really like to have seen more chargers put in, but you know, this is sort of limited. I understand they don't, they don't have that much space in this parking lot. Uh, so still though, that doesn't sort of forgive the fact that for a travel site, you'd really expect maybe more chargers. They could have put two more next to the ADA compliant charging spots and you would have had a six charger uh, site. So I think that's something that they could have considered, right? Uh, but overall, I mean, still four chargers for a rural section of I-5 in Northern California. Uh, you know, it's, it's a 
way better than what we had before uh, so it's just really in terms of raw numbers of chargers and ability to charge vehicles it's just a little bit above average so the overall site concentration score is 6 out of 10. For location again just like the EVgo across the freeway I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. Uh, this charging location is on an intersection between Highway 162 and Interstate 5, uh, two heavily traveled corridors uh, in Northern California and again high EV population in Northern California or just in California in general so these are going to see a lot of use even though these are local rural chargers i've seen a number of check-ins already i've already seen a number of electric vehicles using these chargers so these are going to see a lot of use and i think they're going to really help facilitate travel right now we have a 10 15 mile an hour headwind coming out of the north if you're heading up out of sacramento to to oregon or parts of northern california you might need more charging than you'd think and this site is right along that way and it would be a good option for a quick uh, pit stop so uh, very important um, a great addition a 9 out of 10 for location in terms of speed again this is uh, 10 out of 10 electrify america's charging sites 350 kilowatt charging and 150 kilowatt charging as fast as any vehicles are charging right now so as fast as you can ask for a 10 out of 10 for charging speed. So that brings us to an overall site score of 41 out of 50. So, you know, it's a basic B. There are some, you know, things that Electrify America can do to improve this site, uh, increase the number of chargers present, you know, not even by that much. Like I said, just add a couple near the ADA compliance spots in the front of the store and, you know, you'd, you'd bolster the site score. There's not much they can do in terms of amenities, but maybe adding a canopy uh, and, you know, you'd put this up to a very strong B. So I, I like the site. I think it's really good. It's going to be very helpful uh, for local drivers as well as travelers. So good job, Electrify America. I'd I'm looking forward to seeing more sites like this. I'd love to hear from you. Do you drive through this section of Northern California a lot? Uh, have you used this charger before? I mean, what are you thinking about this coverage that we're starting to see where every 20 to 30 miles, uh, there are DC fast charger sites, sometimes in multiples uh, throughout Northern California and throughout other travel corridors. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. and. Uh, Thank you for watching.